Alan, a 1 0 victory today. What are your thoughts on that? It was a hard fought game. I thought it was the first half, we totally controlled the game. We um, should probably have killed them off. We scored more goals. Um, and it took an, an exceptional goal to win the game. It was a great pass for Dean Shields. <coughs> Joe Cardo shows a bit of magic, cuts inside, and it's a fantastic finish. Joe Cardo scoring his first goal I think, since I think September, and he, he seems to have a little bit more freer role in the game. He's drifting all over the pitch, and that's leading to him getting more chances, and hopefully he can score some more goals over the coming months. Yeah, he's been creating chances as well. If you look over the last couple of games, he's been involved in the goals. Um, I'll just give him that wee bit of free when we go and express himself. <clears throat> and it's obviously good to see him on the score sheet as well. That's now three wins in a row and we'll be looking to build on that and put a run together and try and go up the league. We're up to third now, I think, with the, the results of today. Yeah, we know it's going to be a hard, um, hard game against United next week. We've seen me have struggled the last couple of years against them. We've played well, but not managed to get a, obviously the win. Um, so hopefully we can put that we can change that next week. Eugene Mavoto came in again today. He played against started against Falkirk on Tuesday, and he's putting another solid display, and that's another clean sheet. You'll be happy with the the competition for places. Well, obviously, Carl Morris on the bench today. It shows that we do have a strong squad. No, we've got really good players. Uh, John's come in, done really well. Does he have to keep his place? And that's the competition you need if you want to be pushing up the league. Um, in all places, all, all um, positions, you won that kind of competition. The fans seem to be a lot happier today and they gave great back into the team and I'm sure the players will appreciate their efforts. Oh, definitely. Um, sometimes when you come to places like Dumbarton, there's not much atmosphere. Um, so it was great, the fans get right behind the players. Um, you could hear them singing non-stop the majority of the game and it's always good to get a win for them as well. With Dundee United coming to East End Park next week, we, we put in a good performance against them at Tannadice a couple of months ago and the players will be looking to, to try and get a victory against them. As you said, we've really struggled against them the last couple of seasons, but with the way we're playing at the moment, then there's a good chance that we can go on and try and get a win. Yeah, we're at home as well, um, so we're looking for a really good atmosphere, um, get right behind the team, and let's go and get the three points and try and work our way up the table and try and, try and get in contact with the teams at all. Thanks, Alan. Thanks. Yeah, thank you.